I press start on YouTube. Does that mean I'm now live on YouTube? Does that mean that I'm now live on YouTube? Uh... Am I live on YouTube? Apparently I am. Okay. Okay, good. All right, now I see Valen in chat. If I click you, add as moderator. Managing moderator. Easy, okay, 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 okay. All right, that's you, okay. All right, yo, Valen, Valen, Valen. Holy shit, what the fuck all these people come from? What the fuck? I just hit the go live button. God damn! Yo, boys, we're finishing the uh, Acheron story quest today. Bro, holy fuck! I wonder if there's any other mods around. Yo, Valen, type in chat. Oh, Toxic Yosh. I trust you too. I trust you too. Uh, okay. <sighs> Valen, type it, type it, YouTube chat real quick. Okay, cool. So we got two mods now. Nice. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, who else do we got in here that I know? Good, dude. This is cool, man. That's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Uh, the Acheron story quest, the balance. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Let's just, let's just be real, man. Two for one stories, man. Yeah, we're going to finish that shit up today. Your dad had so many stories in the podcast night episode. Oh, that makes me so happy. Yeah, what up, YouTube? Uh, I gotta see what it looks like. What is it? What does it look like now that I'm live? Really good. So the same thumbnail as last time, dude. 500 people within 10 seconds of me going live. Uh, yo, 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 yo. Uh, so YouTube frogs. First of all, if you if you don't mind taking a second to like the stream, I'd greatly appreciate that shit. Uh, want to let you guys know, uh, we have a new channel. Uh, we're getting rid of the old <laughs> clips channel, the Tectone Clips, because it's fucked. Uh, it's 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 blacked. Like, oh, well, wait a minute. Um, what's the word? Not blacked. Um, shadow banned. Shadow banned. Shadow banned. Uh, so we made a new one. We made a new one called uh, More Tectone. We just started it uh, literally yesterday. Uh, so if any of you guys want to go see that shit, really good, really, really, really good Here clips. Go. I think you guys will like it quite a bit. That's is that porn? We go get Acheron. She go. So if any of you guys want to go over to this channel uh, and give it a like and give it a subscribe, uh, I would greatly appreciate that shit. Uh, and Valen, I don't know if there's a way to like pin that message to the top. Pin message. <laughs> but yet, but yet. New YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Easy. And then can I pin that? Okay, YouTube actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Does that pop up? Nice! Very cool! Uh, yeah, our goal for today is to hopefully get that YouTube channel up to 2,000 subs. So uh, if any of you guys have a second to go click that and check it out, it would mean the... Good shit, YouTube! Good shit, YouTube! Already there! Hey, that's my fucking YouTube frogs, baby. Appreciate the fuck out of that. Uh, and then uh, YouTube chat, let me know what y'all need. <laughs> I'm going to be making a lot of updates. We have moderators in chat now, so that'll be good to get rid of any unnecessary bullshit that y'all don't want to see. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to be attempting to do a YouTube stream every day. But like, when on Twitch, we're going to do a lot more waffling. For YouTube, we're focusing on like, okay, get straight into the content. Right? That way, you know, when the video goes up, it's still easily watchable by people who just like ADD. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, it's good. Real quick, I like doing this to make sure my Twitch chat and my YouTube chat can get to know each other very well. So we're going to put you guys on a little date real quick with each other, and you guys can go get to know each other. All right, Twitch meet YouTube, YouTube meet Twitch. Be kind to each other. Be kind to each other. And uh, make sure to go subscribe to my new channel. Watch my stuff, please. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, they're so cute, dude. Oh, they're so cute, man. Look at them go. Twitch toads and YouTube frogs. Oh, that makes me so happy y'all getting along. <laughs> I remember the first day y'all weren't getting along so well, but it seems like uh, it seems like everything's going to be okay. All right, we got a lot of shit we need to do. We're going to go ahead and get that shit going. Hey, boys, appreciate y'all being here. Let's get straight into the fucking content, okay? Let's go do some shit. And uh, yeah, let's go see the end of the story. I feel like we're pretty close. Uh, I don't want to end stream until we beat it today. Okay? Let me rephrase that. I promise I will not end stream until I beat it today. I might have to do like some push ups just so I don't get fat because I missed the gym for two days in a row and I'm really not feeling good about that. But uh, I'm really prioritizing my work right now. Uh, let's see real quick. We should be good. I need a heal pretty bad. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can just go to this shit, right? Is there anything else that takes priority right now? That doesn't fucking heal since when? Bro, where the fuck? Bro. These don't heal? That heals, right? Surely that one heals? Why don't they just make all of them heal? Am I nuts? I feel like story takes absolute priority now. Is there any new memory of chaos? Let's see. Although, real talk, crushing golden gears would be sick. Yeah. What about Jimmy's thing at five? On a stop. On a stop. Stop. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, okay. Well, we'll be going for an hour then. Ah, oh, fuck my ass. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Wait, yo, Anna, Anna, Anna. It's cool if not. Can you can we push that back to like six or seven? Do you mind asking Anna? You can call me if you have the answer. Because I would like to crush this shit. We need to get into it. No stalling. Let's just get into it. Where are we at? Where are we at? When we get another gotcha podcast? Very soon, actually. And uh, we'll be doing the next gotcha podcast on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Uh, which I'm very, very, very excited about. Okay. Oh, let's get it, baby. I'm not in charge of it. You're gonna make me make the call. You're gonna make you're gonna make me make the call. Okay, here we go. I'll call him. Pick up. Pick up. Hey, yo, what up, baby? Hey, we're doing that D and D uh, D and D thing today, huh? That's a five. Who who are we all doing that with? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we ain't worried about him then, right? So we ain't we ain't worried about him. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I talked to Anna, yes. and she she's asking if we can push it back like an hour or two. Is that fine, or can we? Is it is it strictly at five? Yeah, like push it to six six thirty. Okay. Yeah, nah, she said, nah, she said, yeah, that's fine. We can just, uh, we can just push that shit back to, to like, six. She said, fuck the party. She, she cares about our friends more. That's what she said. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, if, if you uh if you need someone to fill that gap, let me know. I know some very good RPers, very good content, just let me know. Cool, just so yeah, hit me up. If you need that filled, I'll get it even last second, I, I can get somebody within an instant. Alright, so but but now we meet up we meet up at six now or six thirty. Oh, I'm just streaming. Mm -hmm. Noise. All right. Hey, see you later. All right, peace. <laughs> we doing the whole story, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got time. We got time. Hey, Anna, appreciate you. Hey, hey, Anna, the party ain't till nine anyways. What are you in a rush for? 
The party ain't till nine. Like, bro, this thing's only gonna be an hour and a half. <laughs> like, what? What do you? Where do you need to go? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me go on it real quick. Let me go on it real quick. Noise. <clears throat> You're on it. Pick up. Pick up. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you remember how long it took to record last time? <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. We're gonna do it right on time. I hope so. That's the only reason why I wanted to push it forward. Here, because watch this. Like, watch this. I'm yeah. going to call them and tell them we have to start on time. Okay. All right, cool. Because then, then we'll be good to go to the party. Because I'm going to the party, too. Yeah, I want to go because, you know, how much it means to her. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll be there. 100%. Okay, okay. All right, cool. I'm going to tell them be on time or I kill them. Okay. All right, peace. Bye. One more call. One more call. One more call. We got this. What's up, Sly? Hey, David, I'm on stream. So remember when we went to go record that goofy little video with Jimmy the other day? Uh, yeah. You remember how it took like two hours longer to get it started up than it was supposed to? Yes. I don't know who's responsible for starting the DND thing tonight, but can you make sure that they do their fucking job so we can start on time? I didn't even know that was happening tonight. Well, there it is. <laughs> okay, can we can we make sure we start on time? There's because a thing? yeah, yeah, we got a thing we got to do tonight. So that way, uh, you know, we can start on time this time, and then like it'll be. We're doing that. I don't know, but just 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 make sure we got everything good to go for tonight because we got a party to go to. Okay. Okay. Love you, David. Bye bye. Doing everybody's job for them, boys. Doing everybody's job for them. Okay. Anyways, hearts in the chat for me. All right, cool. Let's get it. We are doing, we are doing the story quest today. Begin! No stalling, pure content. Let's get it, baby. Back for round two. This haven of memories. And I get Every to touch, see my favorite my ass in the game. Like hey, what up, baby? Now, does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? Terrible, I hate the bitch. I bet you're not used to it. I'm not, because everybody says I should like him, That's and I don't. Just his style. <laughs> Ball or nothing yep. is his mantra. Yep. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. It's kind of creepy. No, not going to cap. Everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. Yeah, I'll, I'll be real. If he has merits, I have not seen them. always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble, which is why on the issue of retaking Penna County, I'm watching with keen interest. Yo, can you imagine if we get an oiled up Topaz skin? As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. Yeah. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Hey, on it, on it, my queen. Hey, hit me up with the oiled up twerk off later. We're carrying out our captain's orders. We made a mistake last time. Hey. And so that's it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well. I don't give so a fuck about know. these dumb fucks. That's right. If they ain't a main character, okay. I don't care. What? Yeah, that, that, that. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. Do, do we need to listen to these dumb fucks? Genuinely. Oh, why don't we just look for the security? Do we do we need to listen? Uh, like, do I have to listen to fucking NPCs? Hell no. Oh, now they're not important. Okay, good. Fuck them. Like, I'll be real, bro. If like if the main cast isn't on screen, why the fuck? I guarantee you, there was nothing of value to be heard there. Good. Adventuring got nerfed? Oh, thank God, bro. Please just make him garbage. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Hey, I bet you I kill them all in one slash. Gallagher. Ga Gallagher. <laughs> Apologies. Stabs her. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. Okay. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Bro, I'm the main character, dumbass. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. Yep. Uh, the the gray-haired one. Yeah, you saw me in your mom's room after I fucked How her. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penaconi? I set fire to only five orphanages. Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that <laughs> silver-haired girl. <laughs> yeah, she dead. Uh, uh, yeah, she dead. Uh, I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. 
Okay, get on your knees then. Huh? But hey, like son, Maybe like mother. crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. The crime we of murder. documents authorized by the family Insane. that need your investigation. Bro's actually getting PTSD flashbacks. You, actually you see this, Mr. Gallagher? Yeah. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? He was right next There's to you two seconds ago. Mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Yeah. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. Okay. That's all I can divulge. Okay. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. Yes, sir. Sorry. No can do. Ooh. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Ooh. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things <laughs> difficult for each other, right? <laughs> this actor is really hamming it up, bro. For troubling you. Actually, when NPCs are this good, I actually don't Let's mind them. Think of another way. Bro's actually so funny. Another way. <laughs> he is uh, shitting himself, bro. Did they say so that, funny. Um, uh, what was it? Clockwork? Yeah. That got this guy to change his mind. Okay. Can you perform it again? That, uh, clocky magic. Yeah, I bet. I bet your mom can perform gawky magic. Please. Oh, that's so cute. Why don't girls in real life say please like that? <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no it's so one's cute. allowed through. Why does that gotta be an anime only thing? Everyone, please leave. No. Airless. Chaos control. <sighs> You're a dumbass. Let me see what time it is now. Whoa. It's this time already. Yep. Time to clock out. And no one's gonna stop me. Actually based as fuck. Uh, Holy uh, base head. Uh, this guy's fucking <laughs> base. Uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, I know, Martin. Chaos control. Activate hormone. At least he won't be getting I'm in our I'm telling way you, again. there's going to be Pentecotti porn with that exact plot. And ask him I'm telling you, bro. It's going to happen a million percent. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Yep. <laughs> Activate oh, sexy mode. Guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Give me a million billion dollars. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Bro, homeboy looks so good. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Oh, by the way, for the people wondering when the giveaway is, we're doing it after we beat the story mode. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Yeah, I follow you on Snapchat. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. What do you mean, little girl? I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Bro, Stella's actually like a eight This is foot also freak. the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided <laughs> to help child. the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of Wait, are we referring to Firefly as a child? The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of how fate. Is she, how is he considering Firefly a child? Why? Oh, for well, him, because he's like a million years old. Okay. Uh, it's nothing. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find oh, it hard to Oh, they're a go. former miner. Who oh. wants to leave a warm nest? Okay. Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. <laughs> Genshin Twitter. Mr. Gallagher seems <laughs> to be getting at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. Uh, let's get it. So I will change your definition. Even after that Whoa. chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Will you cooperate or do I have to do Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Yeah. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Yeah. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, 
Offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Nice. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits. Oh, no. And so does the Divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a Galaxy Ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Okay. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? She's so fine. The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Okay. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Shit. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer. Oh God, bro, I just want to push that kid over. Regardless of the perceived <laughs> bliss, death looms. What is bro it's doing? Inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will that diffuse kid, bro. and spread. One Someone piece of the, the dick puzzle's mutation missile. will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. I'm gonna crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. That's deep. I'm sure you've gained a, a lot mistake. from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Hell no. Of course. That's if I remember. Why has everybody got amnesia in these fucking games? Okay. Did, did I die? Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when That's this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Well, then take it out. Take your time. Whip it out. That should do it. I vividly remember. Hey, mods, if there, if there are spoilers, told. just uh, time them out for way. a day. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Okay. Someone once said to me, Penacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. And for the wall of textures, just time out for five minutes. the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. If there are a wall the of text of spoiler poster, fall, though, then been for a week. And time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Yeah. Okay. There might be a way to change everything. Yeah, just put a black hole in there, man. Perhaps. What are they gonna do? But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Why is that in red? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. When I was a little kid, these bullies pushed me over and took my mask off. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He played Cookie Run Kingdom. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Oh! And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As Bro, a the price, mix up for the mood is so nice. Those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain living out their days peacefully in the man's created Is this about utopia. Honkai Impact 3rd? And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Oh, that's fucking sick. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Is, that, is this about Luocha? 
because people must always move towards the future. No, who's it about? Even if human weaknesses make or is that a spoiler? pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity Wait, it's actually will about Kevin? eventually seek a way to oh, save itself. I thought y'all were talking about my schizophrenic and demon, that Kevin. Man, <laughs> he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his That's heart. so crazy of names like Luocha and Welton and the name fucking Kevin. The sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. I really wish I knew the Honkai Impact he third story. That way I would understand like the little only to come face to little face bonuses they give you sun for Honkai Star Rail Enjoyers. Visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. I think I'd have to watch videos. That. I don't think I have the desire to play. Countless. I have too many games I'm playing right now. Surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless. The music switched up is that. also crazy. I'm wondering if this is music from Thank Honkai Impact III. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. It is? Yeah, figured that. That's In cool. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. Wait, so does, is Akron aware of Raid in May? Life alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. We don't know? I know she's another I version of Raid and May, but she, is she aware of that? It's fine. I don't mind. Because I know so her, I Raid and May, and Raid and Shogun are all like tied together. There's something. But I wonder I if she's aware of her counterparts. Know, Ms. Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before Answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. You want to play Roblox? I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Ooh. Well, that wouldn't be good at all, now would it? Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? That's a great question. That's a great fucking question. God, bro, I saw this video earlier. You know what? <sighs> Never mind. I need to relax. Black Swan is so... Oh. She's so perfect. Long time no see. Having fun on Panettone? Acheron. Who the fuck is this? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are. He sounds southern. And what you're up to. My bullets will find you. Is that Boot Hill? Then you best find a casket store on Panacone. Oh, that's totally Boot Hill. Good quality casket. That has you're to be Boot Hill, bro. Imposter? I see. Sus! She gave my whereabouts to someone Bro, who's Boot Hill is too. so fucking cool. Who are you? Boot Hill. Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. 
not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. Wait, is Boothill just dumb? You that imposter's bodyguard? Is he just dumb? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave a round for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. You gonna bust on your face, Black Swan. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? Uh, she signed up by using my pre register link in the pinned comment. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't yeah. you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> Pinnacony. I'll be on Pinnacony soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak. Nah, don't do that. Up. Alcohols for losers. Always a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Okay. Well, then do something about her, Boot Hill. What are you going to do? She can stop time. The fuck? <laughs> oh god, here we go. Shut up! You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? The biggest two the two biggest douchebags in Honkai. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. I can't. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. Same. But let's not forget, <laughs> you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this town. Unfortunately, Adventurine's shield is way too OP, so nothing can kill him. Great. Then tell your people that Adventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Is Adventurine oh, Topaz's got a boss? Lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the Harmony? Co-worker? My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's gotcha. a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penicone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> because I remember Adventurine, or Topaz so answering to Adventurine after the, the end of the Bellabog quest. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. You failed. That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Yeah, that shit was funny, too. Go. Do what you must. That shit funny. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Penicone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift mummy bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. Bite the dust! dust! You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. 
Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. Okay. What's this? Medical advice? What the fuck? How the hell do you do that shit? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. What the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Show me the balls. Asking you to solve a case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you. Wing headed scoundrel. Uh. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway. <laughs> It's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. See, I like when Adventurine shows his annoyed side. I hate how he's always smug. It's actually so fucking annoying. But him getting pissed off and being screwed over by Dr. Ratio, like, that actually made me like him a lot more. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the... Hey, right, do well, I need to talk to these fucking losers? Was... Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. Yes, okay. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. Hell no. <laughs> sure thing. Wait, La Rose? Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about... <laughs> Death? Hell no! Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> I like, really well, feel like I can skip this. Up for some, it was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, Baby, I don't care. Unexplained coma. Yeah. I, I, I ain't listening to that bitch. I can feel yeah, sick. fuck him. I, I am not listening to chat bro talk. There's no way that uh, like I'm just not. I'm just not. You. Yeah, bring bring Doctor Ratio back. There's no way they're gonna give me any imp important information that delivered via these dumbass NPCs. A monster covered. Bochi. Sip of liquor. Oh. <laughs> or are you just you really shouldn't drink so much oh <laughs> the devil <laughs> they sit mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> oh, does it ever... take care my friend holy <laughs> shit he looks cool you don't look why the fuck can't we have a dude that looks like that right, then. well stole what the fuck <laughs> all right uh, what was i dude give me some jack <laughs> naked bald man bro Gallagher, Gallagher don't look like that, bro. You want to talk to me? <sighs> like, we, we need a bald fuck. <sighs> now did your boss talk you? Well, she said I thought about it. Mm, guess she's got... <laughs> go, 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 go. Is this? Yes. Go, 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 go. No, it's not much. <sighs> um, oh. He's an intel. Anyways, hmm. holy Devil fucking yapping blood. NPCs! In the dream, and nightmare ghost. Ooh, the child. This one's probably important. Oh shit! Remember what I said. The COVID vaccine. You hit in. are better off hiding in the sewers. Sparkle. Look at you. Snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is this yeah! so enticing, my fine fellow? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, That's you, my girl right there. Fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Yo, what's the name of Adventure Race? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Be hey, the mute. fuck the Sagonians. Forward, you know? I stand with Sparkle. Fuck them all. What did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. Yeah. I told you to make friends with the mute, not become one yourself. Sagonians better off in the you sewers. <laughs> That's actually wild. What do you mean? <laughs> actually wild. You know better than I do. 
Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, yeah. I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well... She's so cute. It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> yup. But it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? Fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? God, I hate his voice. Why should I help you? True. That's a Don't great question. Don't you want lesson. to see Panacone descend into... <laughs> chaos? <laughs> well... <laughs> I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute. Yeah, in VR chat, the lap dance me. Did you really mean Robin? Bro, imagine hmm. pulling on adventure rain when Boot Hill's just around the corner. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> Oh, the word no is never sounded so Somebody in YouTube chat called Sparkle our Whittle Wacist. What the fuck? <laughs> well done. That's I insane. admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. I know for a fact that Bird is somebody, I just don't know who. I wonder if that's Elio. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. That's a, that's a lot of things, though. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned <laughs> anything so far. That's what I'm saying, man. So here's the thing. I don't know shit. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. Oh, thank God you corrected that. Otherwise, you would have looked like a oh, dumbass. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my bro, precious, the little two dots underneath the eyes are just so fucking button. adorable, bro. And I have one just like it. I feel like when I feel like Sparkle's the cutest it, character in the, the entire and game. The whole of and Kafka's the sexiest and character in the entire game. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. Whoa, whoa, better? Shut That's the fuck up, bro. IPC Who wants to deal with a crying right? bitch all day, bro? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Wait, is that actually a suicide button? For him to blow himself up? No, oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> He presses it, he just blows up. Threat seriously at all. <laughs> hey, your how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Oh, what a cutie. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. Okay. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. Yeah, he's a DJ knight. I'll handle the rest myself. Bro, that floating I'll ice cream is hypnotic. A grand finale for the downfall of the family. I have a feeling it ain't gonna work. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. So that means, that means reviving Robin. Go ahead. Press because the she's button. a mute. 
Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. Sparkle, kill him. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Yo, Adventurer, press the button. Just don't let me down now, okay? Press the button. Now! So I... Whoa. So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Yo. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? What the fuck? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Oh, so everybody be racist. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? What the fuck? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, well, 34 other slaves. To do what, bro? Take over Go. the universe? Play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Dude, 66 morning and host his own battle royale. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. Yeah. But you look good, and that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now, and uh, don't let your master down. Wait, did, did Tangerine <sighs> kill all of them? Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay for me? Huh, you really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tonba. No more, no less. 60 bucks? I'll take my chances. That's it? 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tonba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but Bro uh, was an addict. That won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. Jeez. Life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Guys, just remember, it's okay to be racist towards um, adventuring because he's white. And you can't be racist towards white people. That's what Twitter taught me. So just making sure, like, this is all, like, fine. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page here, guys. All right, cool. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. Yeah. There he goes. So, did bro and kill them all? <laughs> what brings you here, Gallagher? <sighs> Some friends from the old days. Who is you that? Have a to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. That's got to be a four star, gentlemen, right? Welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. She's got to be a four star. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw. She's the so fine. So Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. Nah, she's a four star. She's got to be. Well, she ain't an NPC. She's playable. I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look, a lady as cool as Serval. Wow, Betty Epic, Betty Cool. I think she is Serval. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? She's lesbian. 
Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Fuck. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. Ooh, well, we are running I'm out of stock then, huh, buddy? Age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that yep, used we to are, we are running, table. we are running out of stock today, boys. The ingredients. They're all under the counter. Oh, Since do we get to play the, the alcohol mini game? Bar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Holy ass, bro! The what the fuck? might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some hell? customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? There's nothing well, on the counter. What a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. Oh my god! Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. No, no. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. What are you what are you yapping about? Just put rum and coke together and you get well, less good tasting coke, but it still almost tastes like coke, which is really yummy. What did you just link? <laughs> oh my god! Nice. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. Uh, hey, look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, Very an actor cool. from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus for Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. She's got to be playable, bro. With an ass nah, like that, she got to be playable. It be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Okay, well then let me cook. Let, let me do this shit. Bro, why the fuck is this shit not in the bar, though? Real talk. Ooh, free chess buggers! Hey boys, real Don't quick, letting y'all let know. Friends in on the action. We do have a new YouTube channel. We started it yesterday. It's called More Techtone. Would love for you guys to quickly go there. Give that shit a like. Give that shit a subscribe. Watch all the clips. It would be amazing. Uh, would love for you guys to take a second. Should be pinned in the chat on YouTube and Twitch. If you guys can just go there, click a vid real quick, give it a like, give it a sub, check them out. Very good content. We're trying to grow that shit. Would be dope. Would be amazing. Would be amazing. So yeah, if you guys uh, have a second or two, would be great. Uh, let's continue. I'm a grown up. Do I gotta go downstairs? I think I do, but let me fix a little clocky real quick. I love making a little clocky dance. This shit makes me so happy. I'll be this shit in 30 seconds. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Wait. Easy. Next. Easy. Done. I'm a I'm actually fucking yunking. Nice. 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 Seek, and you will find. 
<laughs> I love when they do a little dance. It's probably downstairs, I think. I don't think I'll have to go behind the counter. Probably just down, no? Nah, there's another chest. Maybe there's maybe it is upstairs? Collect ingredients for the drinks. Oh, here we go. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Yeah, probably. Oh, and there. Oh, what should we exchange for? Uh, I'll give it fifty thousand credits. Whoa, the stairs made of coins can lead to happiness. That's cool. Well, there goes all my fucking money. Anything more? More? Uh, check out this half an amber air. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't. Hey, Ugh. March. Did you find the bottles? Ugh. March, relax. Well, that's quite a step. Okay. Not sure if it's enough. Why does March sound like she got hit in the head <sighs> by a brick? Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. She's running a bar, bro. What? Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Ah, oh, well. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Goddamn, bro. Make me Her voice myself. is deeper than mine, bro. Fine. If you don't come Genuinely, along, genuinely deeper than mine. And not go anywhere else give me a sparkling drink sweet with extra ice why does this part of the story just, just feel giga 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 moment. not relevant what's her deal we can't discuss the case with am i not like why is this part of the, the why is this part of the story hey can you do that clockwork trick of yours again yeah. Like, I feel like this is and relevant to, like, the event. Wait, can I skip this and just do the event? You're like, I feel, I feel like this shit does I not matter. Don't... Uh, make her ass depressed. The president will turn to alcohol. It's ridiculous. I'm too timid. You don't yeah. know. I know. Man, I don't, I don't give a fuck that an NPC is depressed. I really don't care. Anyways, let's get her addicted to alcoholism real quick. Still not leaving. I okay. just don't get why she. Okay. Let's make her angry. Those darn Iris. Huh. Okay. I I can help. Okay. I just don't get. Let's make her happy. Will you leave? I've seen it. The crowd is. I've Great, seen. Great, leave. <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe. Thank God I don't give a fuck this. about you, bro. Look, he has left. <sighs> I know. Ready. Imagine that. Go to go. Hey, can I get back to the story or what? That being said, so go ahead. Nice work. Cool. You found some interest. Each drink has its own. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, bro. They need to retcon this shit, and they formulas. need to take this out of the now fucking Archon Quest. This makes no sense for us the to be here. The taste is after those despicable. Mikhail. Almost there. Like straight up. A symbol of bravery. Well, it's done. It's important? Bro, literally, Here's no, it's not. You, trailblazer, with this glass of even the wicked. To the sad truth. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> okay, we're back. So are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. Yeah. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a 
hint of sweetness. No, chat, you don't understand. I've enjoyed every part of this Trailblazer quest so far. Okay, then explain to me how this is important to the Trailblazer mission. Let's let's have let's have this whole discussion. Let's 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 dumb ourselves down by like a million. Cause I'm sure there's like one dialogue option in this whole part that's actually relevant to understanding more the trailblazer. Tell me how it was important for me to listen to that one bitch crying and how that was important to the trailblazer mission. Go ahead, let me know how. It talks about an important character. Yeah. For like two seconds. For like two, let me get uh, Mikhail, right? You talked about him for two seconds. So you telling me we need this whole 30 minute thing? Like, do you not understand that, bro? Like, this is about pacing. You cannot tell me, like, for the adventure shit, that's important. The Dr. Ratio shit, that's important. The Sparkle shit, that's important. Like, why you gotta be difficult? Why you gotta act like all this shit was important? Like, why can't we just be reasonable and say, you know what, Tecton, you're right. But there is a couple of notes that you could get something extra, but you're right, the majority of it is just filler. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's not just do this re-shit, screaming retard shit. Let's just say, yeah, the pacing is pretty slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just, let's just be reasonable, guys. Like, ain't nobody wanna, ain't nobody wanna watch all of Skypea arc in one piece because in 700 chapters later, one of the episodes was important. You know, like, like, come on guys, let's just relax. This, you you know this shit is giga filler. Like, let me just get on with the fucking Trailblazer shit. All right, yeah, it's mostly unimportant. Exactly, bro. Holy fuck, it's insane. People get so upset over this shit. But it's like, 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 I was in there, this shit took me completely out of it. Anyways, I'll continue. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. But, but you're numb to it because you played Mr. too much Gallagher Genshin Impact. Can shed some light on it. But, but I'm sure that the people who were right Hawkeye Star Wars would admit that this part should have been a little bit more refined. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. Yeah. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. I weep for those. Does this who had that true opinion. taste because have they're... anything to do with that, Mikhail? Mikhail. Yeah. That name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Okay. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Like, this is the important part, right? You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, not the part before Let's this. start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly see, now, isn't now a local we're back, so I or perfectly. an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. Okay. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. Okay. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Okay, I didn't get that. I, I thought Firefly was like an anomaly. Thing. We only or received anomaly. bad news, and the tricky is kind of that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality, as if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Why is that? Does that mean? Does that mean what? You think when death kills something, it ceases to exist entirely? That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. That's what I said, but my chat said I was Let an idiot for that. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Well, Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? 
Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Yeah. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, Who right? Who is Mikhail? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. I remember hearing about him a while ago. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. Mikhail Jackson? No. I don't think but so. I'm the officer in charge of this case. I don't know um, about that. How I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penicone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. That's cool as well. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? Yes. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the world. Yeah, like maker. why did they invite the annihilation game? Well, now you understand why the Oak Fitz family authorized the nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because it did the make no sense. It's not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Okay. You don't get it? Well. Why well, are mean, you saying Mikhail's the watchmaker? Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Yep. Well, that can't be good. That cannot be good. Here we are. Clock Studios theme park most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the Watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? Holy shit, March, talk faster. The culture of a city reflects its history Dude, if March was a real chick in real life, way. I would cut her off To you, constantly. it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. Watching Stella and March breathe the in unison is really freaking me out. The prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in, in their dreams living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu. Yeah, the, great leader the fucking of little guy, world. right? The little the little, little guy? And the faithful companion of the underdogs. Oh, so he's based History on that. Is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Yeah. There okay. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. Yeah, it's caught him. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. <laughs> so many of them. 
I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Okay. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. <sighs> All right. Problem is, March is really bad View at whispering. here is great, right? We can see everything from here. You really can't see that much, Gallagher. Including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. Okay, so Clocky's Mikhail. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards. Yeah, I'm not a liar. I'm a even fictionologist. From beyond the sky. <laughs> In the end, that term sounds victorious. fucking insane. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. I'm not spreading but misinformation. If you do the math, I'm just a fictionologist. Doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for? Several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Like, what, 35? I'm 13. What? <sighs> no way. Not even close. <laughs> Anunu freed the frontier prison. But peace still. My face, but I can't face. I want to walk around. Limited resources, threats from the outside what world, the fuck? and internal conflicts between major prison districts. What the future the of Ostana is uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker was a former the miner with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the Father of Penacone. Father. But didn't you say the watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... That means you're gay. No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. Ain't this like... But I am indeed a traitor. Kind of like Arlecchino's story? Not to the family. But to... Mikhail. Ooh. What did you do? Huh. <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. True. Just like you. Imagine I had being close neutral, bro. Actually so fucking toxic. We dedicated ourselves to Pentecost. People who are just neutral no matter what, family. bro. They set us What's up. the point, man? Legit, Mikhail what's the point? Was too old to protect Way his in. children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. Well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore uh. harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. That's fucking depressing, man. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Everybody hmm. died, the end. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. What? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. Holy shit! So, 
Do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? You're trauma dumping on me, man. Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. <laughs> He's hmm? so cool, what the uh, fuck? Something just happened at the theme park. He is actually uh, so cool, now, man. If you'll excuse Damn. Me, Good luck to all of you. Holy shit. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Laws and jurisdictions, man. Gallagher We're all immigrants once. does have a troubled past, it seems. Yep. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Somebody on YouTube just said he doesn't paying attention. Bro, I'm literally sitting here with my eyes glued to the screen. How much more attention do you think I can pay? What do you think I missed? Like, I am literally, I wasn't even talking. I wasn't even joking. I was locked in for that whole thing. Like, YouTube chat. Can I get a fucking, uh, if this guy's fucking out of his mind? I could not pay more attention if I fucking tried. What the fuck? Bro is insane. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Yeah, Send he does. He work. does paying attention. See he how does. Things are going on his end. Welton Acheron! Hey, what's up, homie? Did you fuck that broad yet? Mr. Wang. How's shit going? <clears throat> Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to the New Light Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't Adventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Thanks, Dr. Wang! Gee, Are your companions why do they call you Mr. Wang? Let me show you. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Let's get it. In the next stream, I am so sorry. I gotta go record a DND. &D. We will do this again tomorrow. We will finish this quest tomorrow. YouTube boys. It's been fun. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all on the next one. Love you. YouTube kisses. Mwah, 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 mwah. See y'all soon. Gonna have this shit edited up. See y'all soon. Peace, baby. Whoa.